From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. And here are the paper boats. Oh yes, I was also told that in the last episode, in the caves, and I'm so annoyed that I missed this, in that long room with the cave with the river, uh, some paper boats were floating down it. That would have been so out of place and bizarre. But I guess now that makes sense. 21 boats? Amazing. See, but he talks as if he regrets something. He regrets hitting Esther. Esther Donnelly. With his car, I don't know. But then what's... But he was stranded here on this island. Was it like a hit and, a, hit and run? And he came here because Paul had told him about... I'm grasping at straw. Oh my god. On a... On a sudden... Sorry, yeah. On a sudden, a light from heaven... Oh, sorry, all of a sudden, maybe? That doesn't make any sense. On a sudden. On a, I don't know. A light from heaven shone around him. And... And he tell... And he fell to the ground. Okay. I think that's basically, like, all of a sudden, a light from heaven shone around him and he fell to the ground. Eggs. Life, birth. Is this kind of what it's trying to talk about here? I wonder how much better <laughs> a LP, an LP of this game would be from someone who's an actual intellectual. Probably a lot better. I haven't actually looked at any of the other LPs of Dearest. Usually when I start one of these, I'm like, oh, how have the other ones been doing? What have people been talking about? What have they kind of gone along with it? So that I can kind of do my own little thing with it, I guess. But uh, with this, I just see what's a bit of a whim, really. What's that other thing I did on a whim a while ago? I, I had no idea I was going to do it that morning either. I can't remember. There's something else we played, though. Right. Okay, we make our way up, I suppose, to the beacon, to the radio tower. There is no building there. So what happens when we get there? We leave this, I, I suppose you could call this purgatory then. I guess, if that's, the, if that's the idea, that this is kind of us waiting to go to the afterlife. Look at this, ah, oh. it's beautiful, it's like it's been painted on, it's amazing. And look, I like how he mentioned the um, the trails from the plains earlier. And you can actually see them there. I don't know what he meant by how he followed them. I guess he means just with his eyes. Until, but he said for 20 minutes. You can't watch a plane and stuff. I will drag my leg behind me. I will drag it like a crumpled hatchback, tyres blown and sparking across the dimming lights of my vision. I'm running out of painkillers and I'm following the flicker of the moon home. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they restarted his heart with the jump leads from a crumpled hatchback. It took 21 attempts to convince it to wake up. Oh, don't tell me that Paul was travelling to Damascus, because everyone's been talking about this Paul character in the Bible as well, right? And we're, we weren't sure if it was talking about that guy or a real person, and I'm mixing it together so closely. How can we possibly say if Paul is a real person that he knows or not? I mean, I don't need to say it in the Bible. <laughs> there weren't people, you know, trying to resuscitate him like that. <sighs> and what, is that our Damascus? Is this the idea? I can totally imagine, by the way, him dragging his leg painfully up this huge hill, up this rock face. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, it's just kind of... See, a choir? I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fibre, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged, when the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapour trails in the dark, we will come together. That's amazing. 
Because do you remember at the start, didn't he mention something like having a heart without a bottom? Oh, it's so, so well written. I love it. Uh, and... Fucking hell. And I don't know what that second bit is. And he was... Pru... And he was... Proceeding? I don't know. Some of you guys will know this. Apparently in the original mod it was much clearer of the writing. I don't know. And, it, and he was... Pre, I don't know. On his journey. Okay, so... And he was... Okay, maybe it, it is just... And he was proceeding on his journey. Seems a little bit too simple. I don't know. Because that looks like a U, not an... Uh, whatever. whatever. I'm going over to this candle over here. See what it says. I like how that, that also referenced, obviously, the planes he was talking about with the, the trails. I love that, uh, the idea of a paper boat without a bottom. It's just so good. <laughs> Did you guys just hear that bird again? It would be so amazing if we see the bird again at the end. That would be so cool. Damn. There was a very weird part of me there that wanted to jump off just to see see what would happen if I did. Which I suppose is a really good sign of how kind of immersive this is. Because, let's be honest, everyone kind of thinks that when you get on, on the edge of a cliff, right? Just, however small a part... Not, wow, that sounds really bad. But you know you, you know what I mean. Like When you're on the edge of a cliff and you look down, you're like, wow, this is so far. It's always a part of you, however small. Just for the head of it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> I'm not suicidal. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Right, let's keep going. Oh, more writing. Um... This one's going to be a bit harder to read, I think. And... Don't know. And was come... Near to... Damascus. And he has come near to Damascus, maybe? Oh, uh, when, when I come to Damascus... This one says, and he... It's going to be so frustrating for you guys that know it. And he was... If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realised he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Yeah, that reminds me, actually. There was another uh, person that was saying, you know, when we got into the caves and I kind of mentioned, oh, it feels like we're in the veins. I think, you know, and he did mention how he kind of became the island. This could kind of be like his own journey of like self-discovery or whatever, him trying to find like where he's gone inside his own head and his body shutting down on him, but he's fighting for his life or something. Um... I'm sorry guys, I can barely even read this. I don't want to spend too much time trying to interpret it. That's his sight, that last one. Out. Shit. I may try and edit over uh, when when I do the editing, what I think it says. But if not, please guys, do feel free to let me know. Just, I, I don't want to bog down the video too much with me kind of pissing about trying to read stuff when I'm clearly getting it wrong. Look at it, just slowly beckoning us forward. Whoever said that before was right. It, the game is all designed to have that always in the background. That's your goal. Always drawing you closer. The stones in my stomach will weigh me down and ensure my descent is true and straight. I will break through the fog of these godforsaken pills and achieve clarity. All my functions are clogged, all my veins are choked. If my leg doesn't rot off before I reach the summit, it will be a miracle. There are 21 connections in the circuit diagram of the anti-lock brakes. There are 21 species of gull inhabiting these islands. It is 21 miles between the Sanford Junction and the turn-off for home. All these things cannot, will not be a coincidence. And it came to pass that as I made the journey to through the dark, I think that says there. We'll have to get a bit closer first. I, I also, yeah, I know it's how he mentioned circuitry there. Somebody's 
been scratching stuff into these walls. More stuff here. It's a very small bunker here. See, the question is, why an island? If if we are kind of go, going to go with this idea, which yeah, could be totally wrong. I do not uh, kid myself about that. But if you do, why would it be an island? Is this something that actually was some, a part of his life, perhaps? Also, I like the idea that maybe this car crash, he'd hurt his leg in the actual crash in the real world. And that's why here, his leg's all messed up. Sorry, uh, what were these last lines? And was... Shit, and was some... Ah, uh, you can't get an angle to read this. Well, hopefully with the start of that line, someone will know what passage from the Bible that is. Christ. Ugh. How are we supposed to get it? From... From heaven... Uh, I can't read it, guys. I can't read it. Around... Me. Uh, I'm gonna need to find out what this says. I may even... Since we'll finish the story... I have dredged these waters for the bones of the hermit, for the traces of Donnelly, for any sign of Jacobson's flock, for the empty bottle that would incriminate him. I have scoured this stretch of motorway 21 times, attempting to recreate his trajectory, the point when his heart stopped dead and all he saw was the moon over the Sanford Junction. He was not drunk, Hester. He was not drunk at all, and it was not his fault. It was the converging lines that doomed him. This is not a recorded natural condition. The gulls do not fly so low over the motorway and cause him to swerve. The paint scored away from his car in lines like an infection, making directly for the heart. I'm not even sure what to say to that. Christ. <sighs> Okay, so we've got our alcoholism coming back into it there. And the birds actually maybe haven't caused the crash. Which is why we were seeing like the bird here. And if the thing is, maybe maybe it's the island he came to here because the reason he was on the road in the first place is because he was looking for this island. Because he'd heard about this previous guy. Well, just imagine him climbing up these steps. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do, since we have f we will, will have finished the story by the end of this episode, uh, I will be editing on, you will have seen it already, what all of these lines say, okay? Just so that it's not so bad that I haven't been able to read them, okay? And then uh, what we should do, uh, what I think I'd like to do after that as well, is do another episode after we finish, just sort of highlighting some of people's favourite theories about what exactly is going on here. Is this snow? We're getting really high up now. Oh, you can hear it creaking. We're finally here, guys. Ah, oh, the light has got an ugly looking square appears around it. That sucks. More stuff scratched in. Oh, they're making a circle all the way around. I've run out of places to climb. I will abandon this body and take to the air. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. You've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent.
come back. Alright, as far as dramatic pauses go, that's a pretty long one. I'm just waiting to see if the credits come up or something. Did you hear that right at the end there? It had like, the, the music all kind of ended, but all you could hear was like a beep kind of noise, maybe? I think that could be the sound of him flatlining as he dies. Is this it, really? Can I, can I move? Can I press a button? All I hear is the sound of the sea. You can press escape, but that's... What, really? Is that the end? It just keeps you on a black screen at the end? Well. Okay. Listen, guys, what I'm definitely going to do is... Please, let me... I don't feel like I've done justice to this at all. So, uh, let me know what you think. Your own personal theories about different things that we've heard, that we've seen. And I will be doing another episode, probably tomorrow. Um, where I have a look at all the stuff you guys have said and maybe online and have some conversations with people and uh, we'll see generally the different interpretations people have and their reasons for why they have these interpretations and uh, I think that was probably a better way to wrap up the LP because I feel like it's a bit unfinished here at the moment um, de there, there's definitely not one answer to this which I think is cool but I think it'll be nice to highlight some general things that people think connect some dots with some lines that maybe I haven't managed to do throughout this so uh, so yeah I guess I'll see you tomorrow but um, I guess there'll definitely be more footage of Dear Esther going on in the background maybe I can get that footage of that car the other version of the thing under the water that'd be quite cool um, so yeah I guess I'll see you guys then but um, thanks very much for watching if you're not interested in seeing that last video and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the let's play and I will see you next time wow